equestrian friends, it's me Lisa the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to another video. And today I wanted to show you how to go about painting jump rails. So these are my jump rails that I have that have been sitting outside and today I'm going to show you step by step how I go about painting them. So the first thing I do is bring them into my garage and sand down all of the previous paint that has been accumulating on my jump rails for some time now. And I'm using an 80 grit sandpaper, so it's pretty rough. And what that does is helps to take off all of that chipped paint and it leaves a great surface for the primer paint to adhere to. And something new I've been doing is attaching a screw to the ends of the rails themselves. By doing this, it makes it a lot easier for me to paint the rails all in one sitting, basically, so I don't have to paint one side and then wait for it to dry to paint the other one. So you just take a screw and put it into the end of the rail. And these screws that I'm using are three and a half inch long decking screws. Just like that, you leave the end exposed. And this is what it looks like when they are set up on my painting station so I can paint the rails really easily and they move and spin and it makes it really easy to paint them. So after I have the rails prepped, then it's time for the primer coat. Now the primer coat that I use is Kills 2 Primer. This is an interior exterior water-based latex paint that is great to give you a clean canvas so you can paint whatever you want. So I paint all of my rails that I'm getting ready to repaint with the Kills 2 Primer. And once my primer coat is dry, then it's time to do the fun part, which is the striping. So first I take some tape to figure out where my stripes are going to go on my rails. And I just take the tape around the rail and fold the end over so it makes it much easier to remove the tape once the paint is dry. And then I just make sure it's all secure on the rail so I don't get any bleed through between the colors. And the paint that I use for the finished coat is Rust-Oleum, mostly because it's an oil-based enamel. It works really well and it stands up to the elements of being outside. And then all you have to do is paint the stripes. Size of the paintbrush doesn't really matter. Depending on your size of stripes that you're making, you might need big paintbrushes, you might need little tiny paintbrushes. It really is up to you and it just makes it easier to have lots of different size paintbrushes for different size stripes. Now this is probably my favorite tape for taping off rail colors. This is frog tape and it's a little bit more expensive but it works really great so that your colors don't bleed through and you don't get little rough edges. You get really crisp lines with this tape, which is why it's my favorite. So these are some red, green, and white rails that I decided to make. And then these are some white, green, and orange rails that I decided to make. And I didn't have this color green paint and I didn't have orange paint, so what I did was actually blend the Rust-Oleum paints together in order to get the orange and that color of green. And now I'm just going over the white sections with the Rust-Oleum High Gloss White Enamel. And 
And these are the rails that I've been working on and they're all done. There's my beautiful Voltaire rails in the front and the other rails that I did too. And these are some little eight footers that I did that I just repainted. I had some plum paint left over and then that gray is actually the same color gray that I used on my barn. Now here's the examples of the jumps I'll set up. I actually made the plank out of scrap wood that I had in my garage. The orange, green, and white striped rails. And I also made this little gray jump and I got some flowers from Walmart to add to the flower boxes just to give it a little bit of something extra. And it's fun and it's a pop of color and it's really affordable. I think all of these flowers were about $25 total, but it really makes the jump look pretty and full and it looks great. that pretty and I actually made that jump for less than a hundred dollars and here is my beautiful Voltaire jump this one took a lot of time but I was so happy with the results and here are the jumps out in my arena ready to be used aren't they fun look at all of the fun rails that I was able to make and all of these rails are rails that I've done myself over the past year or so and like I said the rust-oleum paint really withstands the elements very well so it's a great affordable option if you're thinking about painting some of your own jumps. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other horse related and DIY videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.